Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today, I just wanted to show you guys a new project that I'm working on. I mentioned this a few times and uh, there were some interest in seeing the plant. So today, I'm gonna show you exactly what it is. Uh, this is my Franken pepper plant. Um, I've done one in the past that had uh, nine different graphs and uh, I made a mistake by putting it inside my garage in the winter time. And then uh, the light didn't come on because of uh, some kind of electrical problem, then it died. But here I have uh, a new one that I just created a few months ago. And, uh, th and just in case you're wondering, uh, these white powder uh, is uh, diatomaceous earth. I had a bit of a mites problem and uh, that's what I'm using there to uh, try to eliminate that. It seems to be working well and my plant is uh, recovering nicely. So anyway, um, the base of the plant, which is the mother plant, that is a white tie. And these are graphs right here that I've done. So I have one, two, three, four, five graphs so far. And let me show you some closer details so you can see what's going on. Uh, so the uh, and also along the way answer some question uh, that you guys uh, have been asking so to have a franken pepper or a pepper plant with different graphs on it uh, it's it's recommended that you will have a strong base like a plant uh, at the bottom that has uh, uh, multiple branches pointing in in different directions large branches so it has to be a mature plant and the more branches the more graphs you can put on so what I did initially was uh, I trim the white tie down uh, and then these branches here that were from the original plant, I cut it off and then I inserted a new branch on from a different variety. So this one here, this one, you see how the leaves are different from the original plant? And this one is a... Uh, Jay's Peach Goes crossed with a Primo. I love that variety. I didn't want it to die outside. So I took cuttings and then I um, grafted onto here to save it and then that worked. And here, I think this may be a Lemon Starburst. I forgot, I lost the tag when I was doing it. But I think it's a Lemon Starburst, but it started to push out flowers. So when, it, when it, it, uh, the fruits come out, I will know exactly what it is. And so, you see there, that's where the graph was originally done, right here. So I just cut it down the middle, insert the graph, wrap it up like I did over here. You see, that I just use a, a foil or um, those wrapping papers and it's very simple. There's, a, there's another one back there and uh, just graft it on. I have a video on how to do this and it's been a while back so I will link you, link the video to you anyways but that's exactly how I did it. Nothing special. And then I have another graft here. You see? These are Chinense varieties. That's why the leaves are, are much larger and uh, the tie is the, the annuum variety so that's why the leaves are different. And then this one here I think that is a, uh, a hornet. It, it took but uh, there's no growth on it yet. And back there is another uh, super hot variety. I forgot what it is. So, and this one here is a, a, um, a um, Borg 9 variety. So uh, everything is looking good. There, there are new fruits forming or new flowers form, which will come, uh, the fruits will come out of that very soon. And then the Thai variety down here also has flowers, so the fruits will come. So I will have a plant that will have different uh, varieties of uh, peppers on there. So it's going to be really, really nice and, and, and cool to look at. Uh, so I'm growing this in the arrow garden. And as you can see how low the plant is. And I did that, be uh, how I get them to be low like that is uh, I do constant trimming. So I have a video on on how to uh, like a guide on how to grow peppers in the air garden. So I will find it and link it to you guys as well, so you can uh, do it yourself. But uh, air garden, uh, if you let it go out of control, the pepper is going to grow everywhere, and then you can't contain it. So uh, 
I like to keep it nice and compact and small that way it can stay within the the small unit uh, because these super hots are not meant to be grown in a in an air garden because super hots get huge and the Thai varieties also get really large so that's why trimming is a is a good method to keep them small okay so those are it um, the multiple different graphs they're producing flowers so fruits are coming out soon so if you guys want to see uh, once all the fruits formed and uh, i may do a follow-up so um just comment below and let me know but that is basically it for this video is just to show you guys what i'm working on and uh oh also uh, people ask how often do i change the nutrients so what i normally do is i'll fill the container up to that level where it says max filling point there's a there's a meter in there you see and then it'll drink it up uh, it, it'll take a while to drink up because the plant is not too big and then I'll fill it up again and then I'll let it drink it up and then I'll change it out completely so um, usually about two to three weeks clean it out give it fresh nutrients and uh, that will eliminate a lot of the problems so anyway guys that is it and also so one more last one uh, I, I usually leave the the light hood about uh, one to two inches above the pepper plant and that that's usually the give me the best result because if the, the hood is not very strong so the further up you put it the pepper plant will start to stretch so um, each node will be like this much it, it usually should be an inch or an inch and a half but if you notice the node is about this much between each leaf then that the light is not enough so uh, uh, put it around one to two inches above even if the hood touches the leaf don't worry about it it would not burn you see how so how, how cool how soft it is so that is not going to be a problem okay so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe